Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. We have a little bit of Vic Mignogna news now. So it's been good over the weekend for Vic. He was actually in San Jose and he had a phenomenal time. So what has happened? He was actually obviously at the convention and the San Jose, San Jose, sorry, and. He's got some photos and they're absolutely amazing. Everyone is just so happy to see him, as you can see. Obviously, they want a big uh, thing for him, mostly because it wasn't an anime convention. The San Jose convention that he was at, it was actually more of a primarily a sports convention. So mostly NFL fans and those kind of uh, fans would have been there. But obviously, Vic was announced and a lot of people went and saw him, which is really good. And as you can see by the photos... Everyone is just great to see that Vic was there and everyone's having a great time. You know, say there's photos of Vic and you're know, with everyone else. And it's it's just nice to see that Vic has been having a brilliant time lately. You know, say we got him here from the last convention he did over here in uh, Dublin. Which was uh, June 22nd and June 23rd. And as you can see, it was just people were just having a great time. They're all just there and they're just loving seeing that Vic was there. And obviously for the Dublin convention as well... It was huge. All of the lines for him, they were just there and everyone was just having a great time. So we're going to be moving on now to a little bit of a different subject. It still includes Vic and it's actually regarding that Ruby, obviously the new voice of Crow and obviously that Vic is now gone. This actually came from Hero Hey, so big shout out to him. And obviously, you know, Vic, he was fired from the production and everything else, gotten rid of. And who we have now is Jason Leibrecht. He is the new voice actor for Crow in Ruby. And his name is very familiar because he is actually the voice of Hay in Darker Than Black. Which, to be honest with you, going from Vic to Jason, that's just unbelievable. And to be honest with you, I think it's actually a very good decision by Funimation and ADV Films, mostly because Jason, amongst the uh, voice animators and the voice f and the dub fans, everyone loves Jason as well, you know, so that's really good. They've kind of actually like, right, okay, we're going to get rid of Vic, but we need another fan favourite. Who do we go for? And they've just kind of gone, right, okay, let's see Jason, see if he wants to do it, and Jason has said yes. So that's absolutely brilliant that he's there. Again, it is a little bit sad that Vic is no longer going to be the voice of Crow, but when you when you got Jason Lee Brett doing it, then you know it's going to be good. One thing I want to end this video on is I was just going through Reddit a couple of hours ago and I saw a page by here and it's actually quite funny, which again, it seems like it actually was written by people of Kick Vic, so just take that with a grain of salt. And it's the legal iteracy of Vic Mignogna supporters. So they've written, The past few weeks it's been amazing to see just how many of Vic supporters have absolutely no clue how the American legal system actually works. They've been arguing with lawyers for almost an entire month over his lawsuit, mostly because they refuse to believe that their idols legal team are idiots who filed a lawsuit that they have little to no chance of winning. They see the evidence in front of their eyes, yet refuse to accept it. First of all, with that part there, the evidence in front of the eyes. What evidence are they talking about, for one? Because all Ty has got is all the stuff that is basically being said on Twitter and obviously like Anime News Network and places like that. You know, basically, people who were against Vic from the beginning. So it's like, well, okay, well, they got that there. We've got 400 tweets from Ron. Again, there's no evidence, it's just someone saying it, you know? Just because someone said it, doesn't mean it happened. This is what people don't seem to understand. You know, say, so going back to the Reddit site, they've practically gotten dumber every single day this ordeal has gone on. And you've had a couple of replies. Things they've convinced themselves are okay correct over the last six months. Their YouTube lawyer guy doing blackface and later justifying it. Well, first of all, I've never justified it. Again, I, I do think that Nick was wrong doing that. However, back when he done it, times were different. You know, jokes were different. This is what Eddie Murphy has said. You've got tons of comedians coming up now and saying they can't do certain jokes because people, they automatically get upset and it's 
in line with this outrage culture, you know? Claiming the defendants have the burden of proof while also screeching something about innocent until proven guilty. One person's grievances are over a jelly bean and an off colour joke, not that she was pinned down and s that. First of all, Monica never ever said she was pinned down. Never. She, you know, she's come out and said, oh well, you know, after saying that Vic was her family and that she loves Vic to death and everything is, yeah, he pulled my hair. That's what that part there was. You got another one. Vic's a man in his mid to late 50s, hugging and kissing a girls without their c you know, is not creepy. So, you got that there. First of all, these people ask for a hug and Vic probably puts his arm around them and then they hug him. That's what a hug is, you know? Again, outrage culture. Pretty much anything Nick says. Again, they've said blackface at law. So, it is very true that these people who are writing this are kick Vic. There's 100%. The forum posts dating back as far as 2010, talking about how problematic he is. So, first of all, the main use of their blog, the Tumblr blog, that Ron, Monica, and all these people were saying, you know, they were saying, oh, this is where it is. The actual owner of that blog took it down because he even said himself it was all fake, it was all lies. So, again... These people don't seem to realise that that is happening as well. They just see other things and they're just literally going, Oh, Vic's guilty, he's this. That is it. You got something by you? I don't get it either, since it's so much easier to know that one guy is this instead of creating an elaborate conspiracy theory to explain away evidence against that person. I learned a long time ago to separate the art from the artist and the performer from the performance. And somehow they think they're the ones who operate on logic and evidence. Their ability to screen out reality because it upsets them is almost a superpower at this point. So, with that there, those two people, to me, it's just like, well, first of all, you're just jumping on the bandwagon now of Kick Vic. Basically, you're just saying, oh, I've seen this, or someone has told me that, and you're believing it. This is what the problem is. This day and age... Someone can say something, and because of social media and the way this outrage culture goes, people automatically, they they go towards that lie. If it was truth, people who were acting the way Kick Vic are, they wouldn't be acting that way if they were real victims. This is what people don't seem to understand. Real victims do not call other people liars. You know, they don't wish certain things to happen to them. I'm looking at you, uh, Amanda Winley. I'm looking at you big time for that. You wanted a girl to get done, and that is absolutely disgusting. You know, you got that there. You got another person who faked a swatting. You know, oh, the, you're the woman who supposedly did the actual investigation on Vicar Funimation, who worked in a HR department, but then Glassdoor says there is no HR department that you can go to. You know? So, a lot of things from both sides, they are literally just cutting their noses off to, to despite their faces. Both sides are. But again, I stand with Vic's side. A lot of this stuff is based on logic. And they haven't said Vic's innocent, you know, blah, blah, blah. They've said he's innocent until proven guilty. This is what these people don't seem to understand. And they just see basically one thing and that's it. They believe whatever's told them. You could tell these person, you could tell these people, well, I've seen this and it's never happened, and they'd be like, oh yeah, whatever. So you you don't believe me, but you'd believe someone else on the internet. It was that sort of thing. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you lovely people soon.